sometimes in life you come across a freak of nature as his keeper he wasn't particularly well bred he was field trial lines and there was some good breeding in him but it wasn't particularly good it was, if you looked at the pedigree of this dog it would have shocked you the ability of the dog natural ability drive and desire that this dog got this dog absolutely loved the game this is probably him at his best at this point he hadn't lost his eyesight in one eye and him and me were going to take this to a next level in competition unfortunately he put a black thorn into his eye smacking into cover after a runner come out and he had a black thorn sticking out of his eye still got the bird in his, in his mouth but the determination that dog would hit cover suicidal and the dog was so driven it was a pleasure to train but trust me he was headstrong very headstrong and we fought like cat and dog in the training and when I say we fought like cat and dog I had to give this boy some discipline trust me because he was too driven and when I say too driven how can a dog be so too driven well, what happened is he belonged to an eight-panel judge who let him get on rabbits too soon. And then he was a nightmare, and they got rid of him to me at 12 months of age. And they bred him, but he was too much of a gladiator for them. They'd created a monster, and I had to bring the monster back into under control. And yet, he turned into the most beautiful, beautiful dog. Once he'd hurt his eye, and he was blind in one eye, he had to rely on me a little bit more for guidance. Because his vision was affected to the point that it took me a whole season to retrain him and help him and work as a team. But by God, this boy was fantastic. And like I say, you might go a whole lifetime without a dog, getting a dog like this, or you might be lucky and you get a dog like this in your lifetime and he teaches you so much. This dog could do the job of 10 dogs. Simple as that. This dog was so focused. He watched everything. He marked. He had such natural ability. It was unbelievable. He's a freak of nature. And people who saw him, he frightened them. As simple as that. They said, wow, what a dog. But I don't think I can handle it. He became such a loyal companion and worked for me for nine seasons I think nine seasons and we had a wonderful relationship you could take him out you could find game you could shoot it and you knew it was coming back in the bag this dog loved the game and yet we get all these idiots don't we telling us oh discipline dogs don't won't trust you don't love you they won't appreciate you you'll just frighten them absolute bollocks it's as simple as that everybody absolute bollocks they haven't got a clue so sit back enjoy the video i'm so pleased i've got memories in my head hundreds and hundreds of hours of working with this dog hundreds and hundreds of hours working with this dog under extreme pressure and this dog was such a fantastic job dog unbelievably good dog and like i say he would have gone all the way and made me a film star out there in the trial world if he'd not done his eye in and I retired him as soon as he went blind because he struggled for the first season but he adjusted he learned to adjust it and he carried on working and working and he was an absolute pleasure so if you've got a dog that you're struggling with don't give him on it give it time 